Hey everyone, welcome back to The Tune Project. Today I'll be teaching you how to play the tune Devil's Dream on the violin, so stay tuned. And as always, if you end up enjoying this video and finding it to be helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up below. And if you're not yet subscribed to The Tune Project, I post videos just like this one every single week. So consider hitting that red subscribe button below along with the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future uploads. Also, as with all of my tutorials, I will leave the timestamps of this video listed in the description box below if you'd like to jump around. I'd recommend staying to the end of each section so that you can play those sections along with me. And if you'd like to adjust the speed of this video, you can do so in your video settings. So for this tune, we're in the key of A major, which means we have three sharps, and the first phrase goes like this. Okay, so lots of repetition there. It sounded like a lot of notes or a lot going on within that phrase, but it was really mainly just two notes that we were going back and forth between the A and the G sharp. And then we had that little descending scale. So if you're able to pick out little patterns like that, that'll be really helpful when learning this tune by ear. And for our next phrase, we start on the A string with our third finger D and it goes like this. And for that phrase, same situation, we were mainly just going back and forth between a few different notes. And in this case, we did have some string crossings. And if you'd like to learn a little bit more about string crossings and how you can improve that technique, I made a video last week detailing all of that. So feel free to go check that out. With this phrase, I would recommend keeping your first finger down on both the A string and the E string at once. So you're gonna hold the B and F sharp down with your first finger at the same time. That way you can easily easily navigate between those two notes without having to lift and reset your finger each time. All right, and for this third phrase, we have the exact same notes as we did in the first phrase, minus that open E pickup note. So we're just gonna go ahead and start right on our third finger A on the E string. And for this final phrase of the A section, we just have a long scale going up and then coming right back down. So listen for that to help you out with the finger pattern here. So that was all of the A section of Devil's Dream. Now let's go back and play that section together at a slow tempo and I'll count us in. Starting off with this pickup note here, one, two, three. right along into this B section, we're gonna start with two eighth note pickup notes that I would recommend slurring on an up bow so that we can start on a down bow for the downbeat of this B section. And this first phrase sounds like this. So again, we had some string crossings, the same few notes being repeated, and then that little descending scale at the very end, ending on a C sharp on the A string. And now we have a phrase that you should recognize from the A section, and it goes like this. So again, you can use your first finger to stay between the A string and E string. And again, coming up, another phrase that we recognize. This is the same as the first phrase that we played in the B section. So here's our third phrase, same as the first phrase. And 
And as you might have guessed, we have the same ending here of this B section that we did for the A section. So a lot of repeated notes here, a lot of old material, which is always a good thing to refer back to. So here's how this last phrase goes. Alright, so now that you've learned all of the B section, which means you've learned the whole tune, let's go ahead and play through this B section together at a slow tempo. One, two, three. Well, congratulations for learning all of Devil's Dream with me today. I really hope you enjoyed that tune. And as with all of my other tutorials, I do have the sheet music for this tune in my sheet music library. So feel free to check that out using the link in the description box below. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Happy practicing. If you've made it this far, you must have enjoyed the video, so why not check out this one next? Also, if you'd like exclusive content from the Tune Project and a more personalized experience, head over to Patreon and join our wonderful little fiddle community. Your support helps me to continue to grow as a creator and ensures that I'm able to continue to provide free educational content here on YouTube. Thank you!